Good morning, my brothers and sisters. I'm so glad it is Friday. And I believe from the depths of my heart and with every fiber of my being that the Lord has been speaking to you and that the Lord has blessed you. Remember, we began by, uh, you know, just talking about this issue of recovery. And we've been trying to decree, we've been trying to uh, just go through the principles that will enable us to be able to recover lost ground. And I said in the beginning, yes, you can, and yes, you will recover. You can be, it's of it's it's necessity for you as a child of God to learn to keep your vision in front of you. And when you do that, you supply it with faith. You bring your faith in a great way. When that happens, you begin to learn to run your own race. Not only that, but as you run your race, then you need to expect good things to happen to you as you do so. As we finish up our devotion this particular week, we want to talk about having a positive mindset. As you are expecting good things, it's of necessity to have a positive mindset towards life and what you are going for. The Bible says in the book of Philippians chapter number 4 and verse number 8 in the New Living Translation, the Bible says, And now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thing. Fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. That's the word of the Lord in Philippians chapter number 4 and verse number 8. I want us to understand even as we conclude this particular devotion today that uh, these are unprecedented difficult times that are filled with financial struggles, with health challenges, with personal isolations, there's social disconnections and there's a lot of fear. We are mostly in what we would call a survival mode uh, because of the pandemic. The struggles uh, personally and professionally have actually even made our lives very challenging, very, very challenging. And, and it, it, it's making it very easy for us to fall into traps of developing a negative mindset as we go through life. I'd like you to understand this morning that only a positive mindset can lead us to a satisfactory life despite the challenges that we are going through. I think I need to say that again so that we may be able to understand where I'm going with this particular discussion this morning. That only a positive mindset can lead us to a satisfactory life despite the challenges that we are facing or the challenges that are ahead of us. The truth is that there are many, 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 there's, there, there are myriad of valid reasons as to why we should feel negative about the outlook of the near future, about the outlook of life. But however, I want you to understand that a negative mindset can do nothing but cause more despair in the lives that are being lived today. And that's, my, that's why my desire is that if you want to recover this lost ground, you must have a positive mindset. A positive mindset is an attitude that someone has an expectation. There's something you are expecting, that there will be good results that will follow you by the end of it all. The power of positivity is so immense and it can help you to convert that particular energy into reality. By expectation, child of God, I, I don't mean it to be a sense of entitlement, but all I'm trying to say today is that a positive mindset is rooted in a sense of gratitude and that it helps us to be able to tap into the reality of abundance, the things that God has set before us. In the world of abundance, you can only expect good outcomes because in that reality, there's always more than enough. A positive mindset is so critical and so important if you want to recover anything that you have lost, 
And I believe, yes, you can have that positive mindset. And I know, yes, you will recover that particular lost ground. Every day, listen to me, child of God, every day when we wake up, we choose our attitudes. Every day, we've got to choose our attitudes. We can actually be able to determine to be happy and look on the bright side, expecting good things and believing that we will accomplish our dreams or we can elect to be a negative person, be negative in terms of the way we are focusing on our problems. We can actually elect and determine the way we want to be negative concerning where we will dwell or our workplaces. And when we do that, we end up living with a lot of worry and a lot of discouragement as God's children. But these are the choices that we have to make every single day because nobody will ever force you to have a certain attitude. Nobody will force you to do so. Life will go so much better if you simply decide to be positive. When you wake up, just choose to be happy. When you wake up, just choose to love. There are battles you need to fight. There are battles you, need to, you, you don't need to fight. There are moments you need to choose to be a roaring lion. There are moments you need to choose to be a lamb by the end of it all. But you've got to choose. That is the undeniable quality of a winner. Choices. Choose to be grateful for the day that you're alive. Choose to look always on the bright side. Choose to focus on the possibilities of life because a good attitude, child of God, a good attitude does not automatically come if you don't choose it, then more than likely you'll get into a default setting. You'll begin to have a negative mindset. Your thinking begins to change. You begin to say to yourself, I don't feel like going to work. I don't feel like eating. I don't feel like meeting people. I don't think I need to go to church. I don't think I need to say, to, to, to say anything to those people. I don't think I need to serve in the church. I don't think I need to be in the choir. I don't think I need to do business. I don't, you, you'll have a lot of negative Words that you'll be proclaiming every single time when you have a negative mindset. But when you are positive, you begin to speak into those obstacles. You begin to say, there is so much good in my future. But a negative attitude will limit your life as a child of God. And I want you to understand that we all face difficulties. You're not the first one to go through problems. Right now, some of you are coming out of trouble, but there are those who are getting into trouble right now. How you handle your alone moment, how you handle your troubles, will determine how quick you can actually be, get, be able to get out of that particular fix. We all have tough times. We all have bad breaks. But the right attitude must always remain. This right attitude must always remain, child of God. You must begin to say to yourself, I'll begin to enjoy my life now. I know maybe you didn't get the promotion that you are believing God for because you worked so hard towards it. You didn't qualify for that particular house. You didn't qualify for that particular tender. And you know, you could easily live a life with a sour attitude. But instead, you should begin to think positively. And you should begin to say to yourself, that's all right. I know I missed it this time round, but I know something better is going to happen. That I know God closed this door for me, but I know this God who closed this door for me has a big agenda. He can open a bigger, better door for me by the end of it all. If you become caught up in traffic, like in Kenya, in Nairobi, if you're caught up in traffic, begin to think positively. Stop having road rage. Stop being impatient. I begin to think positively that I'm not going to be stressed today. I refuse to be. When that matter to cuts you off, you begin to tell yourself, I, I refuse to be stressed. I refuse to be react to, 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 to react to this particular situation. I know I'm in the right place. I know I'm in the right, uh, it's the right time. You know, if, if your medical record just comes back and, and it doesn't look so good, you can choose to think, I'm, I'm not so worried because my life is not in the hands of the doctors, but my life is in the hands of the maker and this too shall be able to pass. If your dream is taking longer 
than you thought. You can choose to think and begin to say to yourself, I'm not going to be discouraged about this. I know the right people and the right opportunities are readily available in my future. And because it is God who orders the steps of a righteous man, because it is God who's got the roadmap to my destiny, it might take longer. But the God who controls my life in the right time will allow this particular dream to come to pass. As you have a positive mindset, set your mind to positive. Set your mind to positive things. When you have this positive mindset, you cannot be defeated. No matter what comes your way, you will shake it off and you'll keep on moving because you have a positive mindset. Listen to me, child of God. Life is like a car. You have a forward gear and you have a reverse gear. When you are in that car, you choose which way you want to go because you are in control. And, and it doesn't take any more effort to go forward than it does backward. If you choose to focus on the positive and keep your mind set on your possibilities, then you will move forward and see increase and favor in your life. Set your mind on positive. If you dwell on the negative and stay focused on the problems and what you don't have and how impossible your dream looks, that's just like putting your car in reverse. And when you put your car in reverse, I guarantee you, you will go backward very, very fast. It's all about what you choose by the end of it all. It's all about what you choose to dwell on by the end of it all. You can choose to dwell on what was wrong with you or you can choose to dwell on what was right with you. You can choose to look at how far you've got to go or you can look at how far you've already come. Listen to me, child of God. Don't wait for everything to change before you have a good attitude. If you have a good attitude now, God can change the situation for you. Keep the right perspective as a child of God. Some people would love to have your problems, by the way, if, if, if you never noticed. They would gladly actually trade places with you. They would love to have the jobs that you are having and complaining about, the job that you always say frustrates you. They'd like to have that job. They'd like to, they, they would just love to sit in that particular traffic, in that particular car that you don't like. And that's the time they begin to think about possibilities while they are in that traffic that you are complaining about. They would love to have your husband who you would really like to release very fast because you, you are not always happy when you see him. Some of them would, would love to get into your nerves. They'd like to have that particular wife who you always consider good for nothing. Just have the right perspective of a life. There are people who would love to live into that particular house that you always complain that it is too small. You may be thinking, as soon as I get out of this neighborhood, then I'm going to be happy. There are those who are saying, if I can get into that neighborhood that he or she wants to get out of, then I think I'll be very happy. Instead of thinking like that, my prayer as we come to the tail end of this particular discussion is that you should choose to be happy right where you are. Enjoy the children that you have now. Enjoy the job that you have now. Enjoy that particular spouse that you have right now. Don't compare them with others. Those are the ones that God gave you. You need to enjoy that particular moment. Choose to have a good attitude without thinking about what you have or what you don't have. Have the right perspective. Your happiness is all about your approach towards life. One man can get up saying, good morning, Lord. And another man can get up saying, oh, Lord, it is morning again. It's going to happen again. But which person do you choose to be this morning? Learn to keep the right perspective. You control what kind of day you are having. You are happy as much as you want to be. 
It's, it's, it's not your circumstances that keeps you unhappy. It's how you respond to those particular circumstances. And a lot of times, you know, we are making ourselves unhappy. We make the wrong choices. You can't change the traffic, child of God. This is Nairobi. This is Kenya that you are living. You can't change the traffic. Leave alone that. You can't even change the weather. I know it's so cold right now. You can't change the weather. You can't change how others treat you. If your happiness is based on everything going your way and everybody treating you the right way, I guarantee you, you will be so frustrated. Before you leave that house today, you need to make up your mind. Right in that car, right in that Uber, right in that taxi, right in that train, right in that office, as you sit down before your computer, you need to make up your mind to stay positive and enjoy the day no matter what comes your way. You have to decide ahead of time. That's what Colossians chapter number 3 and verse number 2 talks about. Set your mind on the higher things and keep it set. The higher things are positive things. That's what you need to do as a child of God. So set your mind on higher things. When your mind is set as positive, hopeful, and expecting good things. That's when you'll go to places you've never gone. That's when you'll go to places you've thought you've never, you never, the, the places you've never dreamt about. That's when the doors will begin to open up. New opportunities and the right people will come across your path. But if you don't set your mind, negative thoughts will set it for you. You can't start the day in neutral. If you're passive, lying in bed, you're having negative thoughts, ruminating over your problems, rehearsing your past, and having a, a, a bad mentality and a bad attitude, you'll never accomplish your dreams. Some of you say very bad things concerning your lives. You say very negative things concerning yourself. You need to have a positive mindset, child of God. I know the prophet of God has declared it's a season of lost ground. But there are some of you who are looking at themselves right now, currently where they are, and they feel like they are diametrically opposed to that which the man of God has said. But if you can be able to have a right attitude, the right mindset, if you keep your mind into positive, if you keep your mind, in, you know, having the right perspective concerning life, then you will recover the lost ground, child of God. You're not too old. You're not too young to recover. You're not too beat up to recover. You're not too messed up to recover. You're not a sinner so much to recover. You are able to recover. Nothing good ever happens to people if they don't want them to happen. You have to tell yourself, I'll be able to get out of debt. I am not too old. I am special. I am beautiful. I am handsome. I am what God wanted me to be. Begin now to set your mind on victory. You set it on positive. You set it on perspective. You now set it on victory. You might have fallen, you know, into negative mindset. You've got to change your mind. You've got to change your outlook. You're a child of the Most High God. You've been crowned with favor. You were never created to live an average. You are never created to get, just to get by. You are never created to live a short end in, in, in your life. You were created to be the head and not the tail. You are created to lend and not to borrow. You are created to reign in life as a king. You have royalty in your blood as a child of God. Winning is in your DNA. Now you've got to get rid of the negative mentality and set your mind for victory. Set your mind for increase. Set your mind for good breaks. Set your, set your mind for new opportunities because God is setting you up for victory. Start expecting your plans to work out. Expect good people to come by you. Expect to have a productive day as a child of God. If it doesn't happen, don't fall back into that old negative mentality by thinking things like, I should have not known it. I should have not worked hard. I should. No, no, no. Set your mind on victory. Set your mind on positivity. It might always take, it might take longer in your life to realize your dream, but you are not a victim. You are a victor. You wouldn't have had that particular position if there were not something amazing happening in in your future. Keep a smile on your face, child of God, and look at life positively. Begin to spring up 
and move forward in the name of Jesus. I believe that the Lord has ministered to you this morning. I believe that now you are ready to recover the lost ground in this season. Remember, child of God, keep your vision in front of you. When you do so, release your faith in a big way. As you release your faith, run your race, believing that you are going to win that particular prize. As you do so, have expectations that you will recover that lost ground. And ultimately, have a positive mindset that no matter how long it takes, I know winning is in the inside of me and it is my DNA. If others made it, I can't be able to make it. And I believe from the depth of my heart and with every fiber of my being that the God that we serve will give you the ability to recover the lost years, to recover the lost ground, and to enable you to become better and be on the winning side. My Lord and my God, I want to thank you for the opportunity that you have given me to speak into the lives of your sons and your daughters that have been listening to me, dear Father. Lord, it is my prayer that may you enable them, King of glory God, to recover that lost ground, to recover, King of glory God, in that business, to recover in that family, oh God, to recover the lost finances, to recover the lost dreams, to recover the lost vision, oh God. Enable your sons and your daughters to recover, King of glory. So I pray that, Lord, they shall not only be hearers of your word, but they shall also be doers of the same. So my Father and my God, may you come through for them. If by any chance this entire week you've been listening to me and you never gave your life to Jesus, I want to give you an opportunity to do so. Would you please just say this prayer after me? Say just, dear Lord Jesus, I come to you. I acknowledge that I am a sinner. But this morning, willingly, I open up my heart. Jesus, come into my life and make me a new person. If you have made that very prayer, I want you to contact us on the numbers that are on your screen and we'll be able to get back to you and help you to begin to walk in this journey of faith. Yes, you can. Yes, you will recover all that you have lost. Now the blessed of the Lord. See you next time again when God gives us an opportunity and just share these very uh, devotions with as many people as you can and put a hashtag right there and tell them, yes, you can recover all that you lost. You're the blessed of the Lord.